kids, we're going to do Follow the Drinking Gourd. Second graders, you're going to remember this. Follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. people who were in slavery um, before the Civil War, so a long time ago, in our country. And Peg Leg Joe was tricky, he was sneaky, because he would go to the master, the person who said they owned slaves, and he would say, I'm going to help you, would you like me to fix some things up around your farm? And the master said, yes. And so Peg Leg Joe would do some fixing during the day and then at night he would sneak over to where people were in slavery on the farm and he would say to them, I don't think slavery is right and I'm going to help you. If you're ready to escape to freedom, here are some tricks and I can uh, help you know some, some ways to do that. So people who were going to try that had to be very brave. It was really, really dangerous and it was very scary. And a lot of times people did not make it. They maybe got really hurt or they got caught and um, sent back to where they started. And then they were treated very, very badly. So it was really dangerous. So you had to be very, very brave if you were gonna try to escape from um, being in slavery. So Harriet Tubman is another person who did a lot of that, and she was even more brave than Peg Leg Joe and some other folks because she also could not read. And so since Harriet Tubman couldn't read, it made it even harder for her um, and more dangerous. For example, if there were signs posted that said, we know Harriet Tubman is trying to help people escape from slavery. We're going to give you money if you help turn her in. If she couldn't read that sign, she wouldn't know to really be extra careful or to stay away from that area. So she was extra brave. Um, so I'm going to sing it again. You should sing it along with me. And um, remember that the drinking gourd is not really a real dipper. It is talking about the group of stars in the sky and there's four stars that make like a rectangle and that's like the scooping part of the Big Dipper 
and then there's three more that make like a handle and the two that are not on the handle side the two stars that are in the scoop those two point to a special star way out there called the North Star and the North Star was what people used to find the way north because no matter what time of the year it is you could always see the North Star if it wasn't cloudy. All right, if you remember it, you can sing it with me again. Follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is a waiting for it to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. When the sun comes back and the first quail calls, follow some night when it's clear out look for the big dipper in the sky that's the drinking gourd that we're singing about <laughs> 